Good afternoon, thank you for watching Brandon Light Gaming. We're going to be doing another video. This will be on the game called Skies Above the Great War. And um, it kind of reminds me a little bit of um, an old Microsoft game that came out a long, long time ago called Knights of the Sky, where basically your flying ground is uh, like old. Um, but I think this is all based around kind of like World War One planes almost. I'm not sure if this also encompasses like World War II stuff, but to my knowledge, I think it's mostly World War One. And I'm pretty sure all the people that are more familiar with uh, aviation in general probably could probably correct me on that. Uh, but I do believe it's uh, the Great War is more of a reference to World War I. Um, and basically, in this game, um, you get more of a, a macro management of the war itself. And it seems like it's going to have a lot of really cool functions to it that you may not get from uh, similar style games. Um, where you may just be flying a singular plane, and you know that might be the extent of what you're doing with them. Uh, however, this one it seems like they're going to go much more bigger on that side. So, for example, if you want to, you can go through and find different manufacturers, and then use those to, I guess, uh, possibly build up planes and other uh, things. And this isn't in the demo yet, but uh, it looks like you can also do some pilot training. So if you want to try to get them a little more experience and more proficient at different things, this would be an option as well. And stock, I'm guessing, is just the number of planes that you have and what type of planes they are. And I'm going to assume with the manufacturers, you could also increase the supply as well. And I think with the demo, you can kind of control pretty much anything uh, as of right now. Um, but this would be... So let's say if I wanted to fly these planes back this way, and we might go ahead and just try to engage them into their own little fight here. And once you kind of um, move your planes around accordingly, you could always go through and actually manage individual planes. So if I wanted to you know, swap between them, like in this particular case, I think we probably have a few different planes here. I want to say I think the stars that um, we're over is like the number of planes. Just trying to see if we can find the enemy planes because we're just gonna try to initiate kind of like early combat and see. I guess when I was looking at the map, we find each other. Now, I did turn off Collision, because if you don't turn off Collision, I did run into some issues with the client crashing. I mean, it is still in a 1.0 alpha uh, phase, so that could very well be the cause for a lot of that. And what you're going to see already is some dogfights happening. Though sometimes it can be a little hard to tell apart my planes and their planes. But I'm gonna assume all the white ones are pretty much ours. We kind of want to lead them. Oh. I do believe they go a little bit faster than I do on this one. I'm sure each of the the planes have kind of a different set of characteristics. So I'm sure some of them are better at certain things. Some may have a higher ceiling than others. Um,
down. Orange boy. Right on ammo. Now that's what I've done. I haven't really seen if there is a place to... I don't know if like you have a certain limit as far as how much ammo you have total regardless, or if there's just a way to refill your guns, but... Ooh. One of his okay, so we took him down. I believe they have some of our things. Basic maneuvers until we can figure out where they're actually coming from. So I mentioned it, it is a little bit hard to see. And I guess, you know, that does add to a little more of the realism side of it if we, um, if you kind of wanted a less of oh, a game feel more of a trying to go for a realistic feel because it's hard to really tell which planes are yours, for example. Um. Ooh. Well, that didn't work out for a while. Push these to each other. And I think that's where this game does really have some pretty neat potential to it, because I mean, you do get a mixture of having to manage everything in the larger picture, but you also have to. I guess you get that option as well to just get in the cockpit of the plane as well and fight there if you did. Uh, you're not li you know you're not limited strictly to uh, managing you know, all the factories and training and stuff like that, but you also get to go out in the field and actually fight as well. So I think that does that would that would be a cool aspect too you know, the game as well. Um, it's just sometimes really hard to see anything coming up. I'm also going to assume, too, that um, in the bigger picture of it, too, they're probably going to make it to where you can like, control like, a single faction, whereas I think the demo, I can go on in there and just click anything and move anything around. So if I want to take the Germans and have them fight uh, us in this case, we're basically pushing them to us, and I'm pushing my group towards them. Whereas, um, perhaps in a normal game, you might not necessarily be able to see possibly them in the bigger map, and you definitely wouldn't be able to control them in the bigger map, so they might be able to manage their own stuff on that side of it. Now whether you could possibly see the opponent just because of, um, you know, like radar and stuff, but I don't know if that really became 
wasn't really a big thing until World War II, so that may not even be much of something in this one anyway. Um, so I guess it looks like we can pass them. something different. Because apparently they cannot make out the German planes at all. But I think we are seeing the allies. Yeah, that's it. I don't think these control nearly as well as the... Now luckily I turned off collision, because I'm pretty sure that would have destroyed both of them. Is
and these turn so wide. is my engine on fire or something. I don't see it though. It's got a little bit of a turn around. Okay, we did fall. Drop, spin, and climb back up. But it seems like we have one on our team. like one of the allies. So we're trying to lead him just a little. Yeah, parts of these planes seem a bit bulkier and slower. So it doesn't seem like it really matters entirely. Let's see if we can Shave off a bit more again. Let's try to go in front of him again. Try so I need to cut much more deeper into the side. Yeah, 
like this move so much better. Move a little bit to make sure they're positioned correctly. Now that's said, like, as I mentioned, this is like a 1.0 alpha, so I mean, it's obviously very early production still, so I think um, a lot of neat things they could add. Um, for some of us that are partly blind at this point, and it's a bit difficult to see, like, which planes are which, or even if there's even planes in the background at all, because sometimes it's really hard to make out whether there's some there. It could be helpful, even if it's just like a certain mode that you can put on there that might just be for you know, more of an arcade mode or more of a, a player friendly one, whether it's like an easy mode or whatever. It's just a way to kind of mark each other um, at the same time, maybe giving the opponent the same kind of visibility to also see where we are uh, if they don't already have that as a means of detecting us as well. Uh, we already passed me. No, like somehow, feels like I'm just gonna fly past. I don't remember. Until I switch, and then all of a sudden you just see a whole bunch of. Pretty sure it's one of theirs. Yeah, and that's that if you don't turn off collision, you could very easily run into the other plane or what. So, like, kind of what I was doing when I was just testing the game early on. I probably just ran out of ammo, just run into the other side, and at least, you know trade the plane. Maybe drop one or two with ammo, then I'm causing it to the other one. I think one of the ones we were chasing just got knocked out. I'm really not seeing more aircraft, so maybe we kind of finished off that. Then of course, um, you have this group over here. It looks like these ones were escorting the bomber. 
And so I'm going to assume you can also go through and... So you can probably set up like an actual bombing run so that, uh... You know, you destroy maybe some of the enemy bases. It doesn't seem like you can fire with bombers. So. so, yeah, um, I think that is going to be our video for this one. Um, Skies Above the Great War. Uh, as I mentioned, it seems like it's going to be kind of a looking over different situations and, you know like the different parts of the war you get to kind of help out i don't know how much you can affect the ground battles that are currently going on but that might help um you know with that where maybe you can go down there and either drop bombs or uh, shoot things while at the same time you can probably also attack different um, locations like this So if you enjoyed the video, um, I believe this one's probably still an early development phase, so it's probably going to be a while before it comes out. Uh, but if you enjoyed the video, uh, like, comment, subscribe. Um, hopefully we should see more with this uh, in the coming time. So if it is something that it seems like you, that looks interesting or um, that you might enjoy, I'll definitely check out their Discord. Uh, it seems like they've been posting quite a bit on it. And uh, kind of take a look at what kind of stuff they're working on over there. Um, otherwise, thank you for watching. Have a good day.